Hello, welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and I am going to be doing a What's Coming This Year um, reading for the collective. So first let's find out what's coming in January for the collective. What is coming in February for the collective? And March, please. We come to April. What is up with April? Blessing shower on you in May. Oh, okay. June. Okay. Yeah, some endings in June. Wow, okay. Now we've got July. What is up with July? Maybe some new beginnings are happening. My new one got. We're gonna see some more. We're gonna see some more. And I'm sorry about my <clears throat> losing of my voice. What's happening in August here? This is gonna air um New Year's Eve. New Year's, New Year's Eve, uh, August. Um, Cause my son, my oldest son is getting married New Year's Eve. Um, yes. So I am creating this video actually Christmas morning. This is a Christmas morning video for you guys, but you will not see it till New Year's, right when the ball drops, New Year's Eve. Yep, New Year's Day. Midnight, you'll see this. September, please. Well, this is a collective reading, like a world year. It looks like we're having a world trend. Endings. Endings. October, please. Finding our divine counterparts in September and October. November. No. Now, we have December. Of 2024, what is going on with the collective in December of 2024, Spirit? Oh, mendings, of course, makes sense. And what's the overall vibe of the year? We're checking the vibe of this year because we're tired of having all these freaking pop up, freaking universal universe likes to give exams and i'm tired of taking these exams so i'm seeing what's coming this year i'm i'm developing a cheat sheet right now cheat sheet for the year overall there is celebrating going on there's a celebration that's going on all right <clears throat> listen listen 
We gonna pause real quick and I'll come right back. <coughs> we're back. And we're doing something funky fresh. <coughs> so I've used the Wild Unknown Tarot. I'm using the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. And then I will be using the Wild Unknown Arc type deck. To get a handle on what's going on this year. Coming up for the collective. What's up for January? January. February. I know this this reading is going to be a lot of shuffling and pulling cards. So I'm sorry if you don't like it, like fast forward, I guess. But I'm going to come up with like mini downloads while I'm doing this. So you may want to... Follow along. I don't know. Because I tend to have like little snippets here and there. And I've been cutting out a lot of the mmms and taking forever time. I am totally digging the vibe here. March. So in March, it's my birthday all month. <laughs> I don't know who else does that, but in Aries, right? I'm And I'm a March Aries, so I'm different. <laughs> Cause, and I'm real different because I got a Gemini rising sign and a Leo moon sign so I'm real different that's me ooh that's my card too the, pa the Black Panther I want to eventually get a Black Panther tattoo that wraps around my neck yeah what's going on with me May, May, May. We got some some vibes going on. You got a lot of cat energy here this year, too. Because so far, I pulled a cheetah and a panther. Elephant's like, nope. We can't get out in June, bro. You did all this running and fast moving throughout the beginning of the year. You got here. You at the mid-year. You're going to take some steps. And they're going to be profound. Forgive, never forget. In, in July, we a zebra. So, zebras can change their shapes. Zebras are unique. They are... No two zebras have the same pattern, like snowflakes, same thing difference. Same thing with cheetah spots. They don't have the same pattern. August lions. Oh, lions eat zebras too. Don't they? Yes, they do. Lions eat zebras. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense that we would go from a zebra month to a lion month. September coming out the gate. What we got going on in September here? September coming out the Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe some people coming out the woodwork in September. Trying to pick the bones of something. And I don't think you're going to have it, though. You ain't going to let them be vultures. Collective. Collectively, there is a lot going on. In October, you're going to be peacocking it. You're going to show your stuff. Give them what they want. G give them what they want. They want to see you. November. November. What do we have going on for November? Some webs going on. All right. Some more. Told you. We was going to do this. We do in a year. We got to do the whole year. These were not meant for tiny handed people. I love these cards though because they're round and they're cool and they're like amazing. So we're all energy. We need to know what the overall year energy is. Like we ain't playing these games with this. We want the cheat sheet, man. Spirit, give us the cheat sheet for this year. 2024, we got January, February. Like I said, it's hard for me to shuffle these ones. 
bump more healing. Yeah. First, you're going to start healing your inner child. And then you're going to realize that you, by healing yourself, you're healing other people. You're healing on a large... The earth is healing. The planet is healing on a large scale. Oh, yeah. We're finding that we have the the gifts inside of us. April. Hey, your prayers are being answered, it's looking like. All right. June. July. You gotta take your mask off. You've been showing people the wrong side of you. Kind of the whole world is taking their mask off, so. And overall energy for the year. This year coming up in January alone. You're going to be healing with the grace and wisdom of a gazelle, but you're healing your inner child, the eternal child. You are healing your connection with spirit. You're healing your connection with yourself and you're healing sorrow and grief in a profound way in January. When we come to February, we have a new beginning in action, actually. And you've realized you are the healer, that we heal as one, the world is healing. As we heal, the world heals. Um, that is the collective energy, actually. A new beginning by taking action and healing. And in healing, we are healing the collective. And in healing the collective, the world becomes a better place to live in. And we are doing that in February. We're making the world a better place in February. In March, you're, we're, as a collective, we are realizing with a swiftness, the swiftness of the cheetah, that we hold the wheel of fortune inside ourselves as a hidden gem. It might be a spiritual gift. It could be an epiphany. It could be a sudden download. It could be an amazing thought that just happens to come into your mind at the right time, at the right moment, at the perfect, perfect timing. It's divine timing. And we're realizing very, very quickly the divine timing is not always our timing, and that's in March, All right? Now we got April. April, now we have our connection with the divine. We've been praying, we're offering more prayers, and we're, we're taking that sort of truth, and we're putting it on ourselves, and we're acting towards ourselves with a great amount of kindness and in in april we are taking the time to know our spiritual gifts and to cut ties with toxic things and we're praying about it we're praying about the people that are in our lives and we're praying about who we should let go it's not that we want to cut people out of our lives that's not the point the point is if someone is doing something bad and making you feel bad, you don't need to have them in your life. It doesn't matter who they are. If they're making you feel bad about yourself, you don't need to surround yourself with them. You can cut them out, you have the ability. But the problem is you second guess yourself. You know you have the wisdom, you know what to do. You know what to do and you know where you're going. But the thing is, is you have, you have to, we as a collective are taking the chance in May now to step into our darkness and give offerings of wisdom and, and peace and whatever we have in abundance to give that as an offering for what's coming next. So now... We might be in, we're in June, all right? So in June, 
we're remembering a lot of things and remembering these cycles and putting an end to karmic lessons. We're putting an end to karmic cycles, negative thought patterns, negative belief systems. We are dis disassembling them as a collective. We are done falling victim to her antics. And we are remembering and putting an end to the toxic karmic cycles. As we were, we were recognizing them in May. Now in June, we're finishing them. Which leads to July being open to new love. And realizing we are the zebra. Like, we can't change our stripes. We gonna be weird. But we're unique and we're lovable and we're creative and we are coming into connection with things that most people cannot see, like energy. Our vibrations are raising. We're realizing that we deserve a new love, a new start. And this is coming in July. The world is going to have a new start in love. Oh my gosh, that's like, ooh, it's giving me chills. And in August, it's looking like you're, we are standing fast, standing, like taking a stand, like a rock. We will not budge. And it's something that we truly believe in with a fear and fierceness and that we are going forward with with a ferocious speed but yet we're unwilling to budge on this belief and this belief is that we deserve more we deserve human basic necessities clean water clean food clean air and we're starting to take a stand as a world, it's looking like, in July. The world is taking a stand against something. And they're not budging. We're not budging. The collective is not budging. August, September. September, the vultures are circling. We are cleaning the vessel. We are adopting new practices in the 3D world that are bringing us closer, bringing our vessel, our body, closer to spirit. So while the vultures are circling, there's nothing for them to get. So as a collective, we're clearing out all the toxic bullshit and we have been all year. And in September, when the vultures start coming around, because they do, September is starting, Starting to get really close, you know, it's October, November, December, and we got all them holidays coming up. So September is is the month of the exes. September is when your ex comes back. September is when your your best friend decides that they love you and they can't live without you. September is the month of the return the the global returns that's september september just because they want to be cuddled up with somebody they want to be able to be in someone's arms so of course if you the bomb your ex is gonna come back like and i know if you following me you the bomb so of course your ex gonna return in fucking september like it's 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 like clockwork duh and then in October, which is Halloween, which kind of makes me think that the mask popping out during the month of Halloween, like, hello, does that not tell you? It doesn't scream Halloween. And then the peacock is all about showing off. Again, screams Halloween. And then you've got the father of swords. He's like, nope. I'm going to tell the truth and we're going to take these masks off for this, this October. We're going to take these masks off 
and we are going to live in our truth right now. And he's like, he's like, no, nope, we're not playing this. We taking the masks off. We are telling the truth. We ain't playing no games no more. Either you feel my vibe or you catch a ride. Either way, I'm good inside. Oh, that kind of rhymed, didn't it? <laughs> Either you feel my vibe or catch a ride. Either way, I'm good inside. In October, we're realizing, man, if you don't catch my vibe, someone else will. And I'm pretty dope. So I'm going to show myself because back here we were realizing how unique we are. Now we're going to show that uniqueness off because guess what? We can and it's about that because come October, we want to show that off. We want to show all the hard work that we've been doing all year off. It's, it's normal. And then in November, you know, in November, we got rings, hummingbirds, and the Son of Cups, which makes me think a lot of the collective is gonna be getting them rings and hitched in November. So they're gonna be getting rings, offerings, proposals. A lot of things are gonna be happening in November collectively. Like it's gonna be a mass proposal. And then in December, yo, we're like every December, we're taking stock, but this December, it's got us writing poems and like realizing the web of life and putting and realizing that death is not always a bad thing. It's just an ending. Death is just an ending. And then there's a rebirth and then there's a regrowth and then there's a purpose. And then you like your ego can die, but your body doesn't have to, your, 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 your heart doesn't have to, your soul doesn't die, but your ego can die because your ego is all about bullshit. I'm taking a look at my web of life. I am ending anything, anything at all that does not serve a purpose whatsoever in my life. I'm ending it. I'm done. I'm done with it. That's what the collective is saying. I'm done. If it is not serving a purpose for the greater good of my life and my growth, personal, spiritual, financially, if it doesn't serve a purpose for my growth, then it's a waste of time and I'm no longer doing it. And that's where we are in December. I'm no longer doing it, it's a waste of time if it's not connected to my web of life and and sustaining me and helping me grow, then I am done. And overall, the year, you're going to be busy. Like, the collective is busy, but they're also mirroring the energy around them and taking the time to retreat into their own space. So you take the time, retreat into your own space, take the time to heal you. Because listen, as I said before, when I was talking about February, when you take the time to heal you, you are healing the collective. And in healing yourself, you raise that vibration of the planet just a little bit more. One person has the power to change the world. It is possible. It is more than possible. And you could be that one person. You could be that one person. If you're watching this video, you have the power to be that one person. Heal yourself and you heal the planet. And the planetary vibration goes from the toilet, kind of like a flower garden. It goes from being in the crapper and shitty to being a beautiful vegetable garden. And you have the power to do that if you work on yourself, if you heal internally. And this year looks like it's all about collective healing. And that's a big freaking thing.
when we heal as a collective, we definitely heal the planet. When we heal as a human race, we heal everything about the planet. That being said, I wish you all the best in 2024. This coming year is looking like a pretty, a pretty busy one. Like I said, we got, yeah, overall energy is saying we're busy celebrating ourselves. Yeah. And we're going to do a damn good, good job celebrating ourselves because we're going to work for those celebrations. So we deserve to celebrate. Not just, oh, I'm throwing a party. More like, hey, I achieved this, so I'm going to throw a fucking party for myself. And it's going to be the bomb. But we're doing that all year. Because we're achieving shit. Boom, 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 boom. And we're working on ourselves. And we're healing. And we're doing all of these amazing things this year. As a collective. Man, keep it up. Keep it up. This is some beautiful energy for the coming year. I haven't seen a freaking year spread like this in forever. So, hey, the collective is healing. We are moving forward. We are progressing spiritually, emotionally, physically. It's a beautiful thing. Keep it up. All right. I am always down for new writers. Um, if you enjoyed the ride and you caught my vibe, please subscribe again. Peace out.